Hey guys, I'm Isil and welcome to a very simple tutorial on how to download and install Forge and Mods from Minecraft 1.15.2. If you have any questions about this tutorial guys, it would be great to hear from you in the comments. If you're having any issues, you can let me know in the comments as well. And if you found this video helpful, it would be great if you left a thumbs up on the video. That would be really cool. Right, let's get into this tutorial. Okay guys, so let's get into this. The first thing that you will need to do is you will need to make sure that one, you have an original copy of Minecraft. Two, you need to have Java installed. If you don't have Java installed, just type in Java into Google, go to download free Java, make sure it is from java.com and go to download Java, Java download, and make sure that you have installed it and make sure that it is the up-to-date version of Java also. Next, we need to put into Google, Forge from Minecraft. And when you put that in, you're gonna get this link files.minecraftforge.net. Click on Minecraft Forge and on the left hand side over here, you're gonna see Minecraft version. So you need to make sure that you're doing this for 1.15.2. If it's hidden here like this, make sure to press the plus and 1.15.2 will show up. And then we're gonna click on the installer here. Then you're gonna be brought to an add focus screen. On the top right hand side, it will say, please wait seconds to count down. Wait for it to count down and press skip. Do not press anything else on this website. And on the bottom left hand side of the screen, you're going to get your download. It's going to say, this file type can harm your computer. This is because it is a .jar file, which is a Java file. That's why you needed to download Java first. You're absolutely safe to press this down because this is from a reputable website. Forge.minecraft.net is a reputable website. So press keep. And then once it has been fully downloaded, click on the arrow and press open and you're gonna get this little box here. So now that we have this box, we need to install the client. And this is going to install this into our Minecraft folder. It wouldn't be a bad idea to remember this directory because this is where we're gonna be putting our mods later. So I'm gonna click on these three bars here for now. And as you can see, it is highlighted. C users isltpw app data roaming.minecraft. I'm going to copy that with control C. For now, I'm gonna open up a folder and up here in the bar, what I had just copied with control C, I'm gonna delete everything that was up there and do control V. And I'm going to leave this open for now and press enter. And that's bringing us into our .minecraft folder. That was purely just to copy this directory here. So install client is selected, press okay. And it is now going to install forge. And you will get this message once it is finished. Successfully installed client, profile forge for version 1.15.2 forge 31.1.77 into launcher and downloaded eight libraries. Press OK. Now, once that is installed, we now need to open up Minecraft. And then we need to go to Installations. In the Installations tab, you need to press New. And up here, I'm just going to give this a name. I'm going to call this Updated Forge Launcher. We then need to change the version type. And this needs to be changed to the Forge version that we just downloaded, which was release 1.15.2 Forge. Click on that. The game directory, you can leave blank. The resolution, you can set at auto and it will automatically pick up the resolution of your screen. And then you next press more options. And we're just gonna scroll down here and it's gonna give us these two extra columns here. Java executable, you leave that blank. However, JVM arguments, there's a number here that we need to change and this changes the amount of RAM that you've allocated over to Minecraft. I would recommend when you're using mods, depending on how many mods you're using. If you're using just a few mods, then two gigabytes of RAM is more than enough to allocate over. If you're using up to about 50 mods, I would change this to four. If you're doing over 50 mods, maybe up to about 100 mods, I would certainly consider changing this to either six or eight, depending of course on how much RAM you have inside in your computer. If you've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, then you're more than comfortable allocating over eight gigabytes of RAM. However, if you've only eight gigabytes of RAM, then I would restrict this to around four or six gigabytes of RAM. Press create. And then at the bottom here, you're gonna see that we've got updated Forge Launcher. Now you can also change the icon, to something that might be more suitable if I want to differentiate it from other installations. So I might just pick this here just to differentiate it. And now I can see the updated launcher. Once you've updated the icon, go back to play. Over here, we want to select the launcher that we want to load. We want to use the Forge Launcher. So just make sure that that is selected. Every time you want to load Forge, then just make sure that you've selected this one here. But you can go in here and select the different ones as well, and then press play. So for the purpose of this video, I've removed mods from the mods folder that I had, and I'm gonna load it up with no mods in it. You're gonna get a screen like this, which is completely different to the Minecraft screen that you're normally used to loading up. And on the bottom left hand side of the screen here, you're going to know that Forge was successfully installed because it says Forge 31.177. 
and two mods loaded. So the mods that are loaded at the moment is Minecraft is the first one and Forge is the second one. But I'm going to log in here to single world. We need to create a world first just to create all of the directories. And it doesn't matter what you're creating it in. Just going to create a new world. And once it's been loaded, we can press F3 and you can see that it has Minecraft 1.15.2 Forge 31.177. We've no mods loaded ex at the moment except for Forge and Minecraft. So we're going to press escape and now we need to download some mods. What I would recommend is go back to your web browser and there's a very good website for mods for Forge and that is the Curse Forge website. If you type in Curse Forge into Google, there will be again a link in the description. Press enter and it goes to curseforge.com. Press Curse Forge and then you want to click on Minecraft here. The first thing you want to do when you come in here is once you've clicked on Minecraft is make sure that you go over to mods. Then you need to make sure that you're selecting the correct version of Minecraft. When I click on all versions here, you're going to see it has loads of versions of Minecraft here, including all the way back to 1.0.0. We're obviously doing this from 1.15.2. Click on that. It will then refresh to make sure that all of the mods that are showing are only compatible with 1.15.2. So if you have a mod that you know that you're looking for, or if there's a mod that you're unsure of, so there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can search through here, or you can search for the mod in here. So let's say, for example, so let's say, the, for example, the very first one there, just enough items. And then it's going to bring me to just enough items here. Then I want to click on this. Now you need to make sure that you are downloading the right version of each mod. If you go to files here and you press download, you're going to download the wrong version because this is for game mode version 1.12.2. If you have a mod that's for a different version of Minecraft than you're using, then your game is going to crash. So there's two ways you can do this. You can go view all and then click on versions here and go for 1.15.2 versions. And this gives you three files. Or on the right hand side of the screen over here, you can see recent files. And it says Minecraft 1.15. Don't download this one automatically. Click on Minecraft 1.15. And then it shows you all of the files from version 1.15 and up. And this has 1.15.1 and 1.15.2. So always, as much as possible, download the most recent version. I'm now going to press the download on this. You're going to get a countdown. Wait for the countdown. And then on the bottom left hand side of the screen, you're going to get that warning again. So make sure to press keep and we're going to go show, click the arrow and go show in folder. And this is going to bring us into our downloads page. Do you remember this box from a while ago where it had isoTBW app data roaming in Minecraft? This was our Minecraft folder. If you didn't press control C or if you didn't keep this window open here, you can always just open up a directory box here and type in percentage app data percentage and press enter and it will bring you into your roaming file and then just go to dot Minecraft. If you can't find that there when you type in app data percentage app data percentage, then that could mean that your files are hidden. So make sure you go to view and make sure that hidden items over here is ticked. Now I need to open up the downloads folder again, I'm going to go to my downloads and here is JEI 115.6004. Now in my Minecraft folder here, I have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder in here, you can just right click and create new and make sure it's called mods with an S at the end. But I have it here, so I'm going to double click on it and it's empty at the moment. So I'm not going to drag over the mod that I downloaded. That is pretty much your mod installed. You don't have to double click on it. You don't have to open up the mod. You just need to drag it from your downloads into your mods folder. Now I'm also going to get the other mods that I had earlier on and included in that was actually JEI, that same version. So I'm going to make sure I don't copy the add over. But if I do by accident, it's going to come up with a warning and saying, do I want to replace the file in the destination? I'm going to say yes. So now we have all of the mods installed that we wanted to have installed. I'm now going to open up Minecraft again. Make sure you're using the launcher. It will load up. We load back into our world. And now we've loaded in with the mods installed again. As you can see there on the top right hand side of the screen, I've got journey map. I have a backpack on my back. We are doing this for 1.15.2. And as I said, guys, a very simple and easy tutorial on how to download mods and forge from Minecraft 1.15.2. I hope you found this useful. If you did, it would be great to leave a thumbs up down below. That way, loads more people are going to get to see this video and maybe they need help with downloading forge and mods also. If you have any issues with how to install forge and mods, leave me a comment down below and I'll try to help you out as best as possible. Anyway, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.